Polar Scout emergency post is out here on the sea ice. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is! Let's go! I'll just knock on the... Oh! Captain Barnacles! It's good to see you back in the old post, sir. Quasi, Peso, meet Tracker. Tracker, meet... The Octonaut guys. I mean, the Octonauts. I'm Quasi. And I'm Peso. Welcome to the Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker's in charge here, and he does an excellent job. I was trained by the best. That's you and Captain Barnacles. Yep. Before he was captain of the Octonauts, he trained Polar Scouts like me for the emergency service. What kind of work do you do at this post, matey? Okay, this is my listening station. When someone sends out a call for help in the Arctic, it's my job to hear it and make sure they get the help they need. And that's why we're going to set up a connection between this emergency post and the Octopod. So we can work together to help as many creatures as possible. Ready to test the link? Ready, sir. Dashie here, Captain. Tracker, meet Dashie. She's our computer expert aboard the Octopod. Nice to meet you, Tracker. Really nice to meet you. So, how's the signal? Good. OK, that's a call for help. And where's it coming from? It's... well, that's weird. It's not coming from the Arctic. It's coming from the opposite side of the world. The Antarctic? Yeah, and... Whoa, Captain, it's coming from an old ice research station that's been shut down for years. So there shouldn't be anyone living at that station at all. But someone's sending a call for help. And someone needs to answer it. Tracker, stand by. Yes, sir. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to answer a mysterious call for help from the other side of the world. Tracker? Right, sir. I'm sending through a map now. Here we are in the Arctic. The call for help came from this ice research station in the Antarctic. And who lives at the station? Tracker says it's been shut down for years. And nobody's heard a peep from it until now, mateys. Dashie, set a course for the Antarctic. Tracker, we'll keep you posted. Cool. I mean right, sir. And good luck. Tracker out. Activating launch. Antarctica. Octonauts to the GUP S. We've come all the way from the Arctic to the Antarctic, but really, what's the difference? Ah, oh, there are lots of differences, Quasi. For one thing, polar bears live only in the Arctic. And penguins live in the Antarctic. And just look at the map. The Arctic is north. The Antarctic is south. When it's winter in the Arctic, it's summer in the Antarctic. The Arctic is a frozen ocean surrounded by land. The Antarctic is a frozen land surrounded by ocean. They're both too cold for cats. But the Antarctic is even colder than the Arctic. The Antarctic is the coldest place on Earth all year round. <sighs> Me whiskers are shivering just thinking about it. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. That should warm me up. Thanks, Tunip. What was that? I'm not sure. Whatever it is, whiz around. And one of us heading straight for us. Hey, sir? Uju. Octonauts, this is my cousin, Uju. He's an Adeli penguin. What are you doing out here? We're making a big once a year journey from the sea back to our nesting grounds on the land. That can't be an easy trip. No, 
But I've seen so many amazing things along the way. <laughs> Look at the beautiful shape of this ice. Uju! Please keep up with the rest of the group. But look who I found! Cousin Peso. So nice to see you. I wish we had time to talk. We have to get to our nesting ground soon. And after this big swim, we still have a long march across the land. I understand. Goodbye, Uju. Safe journey, everyone. Thanks, Bye, Peso. Peso. Say hello to your family for us. Ah, oh, you penguins make the Antarctic seem a little friendlier, matey. <laughs> Everyone, it's time to take the Gup S on to land. Settle in and get comfortable. We've got a long trip ahead of us. We should be getting close to the ice research station. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. It's difficult to see anything out there. Who knows, mateys? With all this wind and snow, the station may have disappeared without a trace. <laughs> Captain, flashing light straight ahead. <laughs> Research station. Let's see if anyone's home. In all this wind and snow, it's easy to get lost. So everyone, hold on to this rope. That way we'll stay together. Everybody ready? Wait, where's my cutter Thanks, matey. See you later. All right, Octonauts. Let's move out. Somebody had to eat and run. Ah, somebody's been filling up a lot of notebooks. Uh, getting closer. Very loud now. Must be deep down in the ice. Oh! Uh, what was that? Everybody out! Here, grab on! Is everyone okay? Safe and sound, Captain. But we still don't know who called for help. Look, Captain. Tracks. Mm. These tracks are the paw prints of an Arctic fox. But that doesn't make sense, Captain. Arctic foxes don't live in the Antarctic. Let's see where these lead. Don't believe it, Professor Natquick? <laughs> I don't believe it. Barnacles. <laughs> Did you call for help? Yes, yes. I was beginning to think that nobody heard me. <laughs> Octonauts, this is Professor Natquick. When I was a young polar scout, he taught me how to do field research in the Arctic. And I'm happy to see you remember what I taught you. How to recognize tracks, how to listen for sounds that others miss, and... <laughs> <laughs> How to dodge one of my surprise novels. <laughs> Very good, Barnacles. Thanks. But what are you doing so far from home, Professor Natquick? 
I came here to do research in the Antarctic many years ago. No one knew you were still here. My radio broke long ago, but I couldn't leave. I'm on the edge of amazing discovery, but it may soon be lost. Lost? Why? Follow me. Click, click. This is why I called for help. <gasps> I realized that the ice was moving and pulling the station into this enormous ice chasm. When it falls in, all of your work goes with it and disappears forever. As you can see, it could fall in at any moment. Then we've no time to lose. Tweak? We can't pull this ice research station to safety faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy frozen carrots. <laughs> Let's do this! Octonauts, you saved the station and my life's work. Now I can share my amazing discovery. Follow me. Click, click. I always pounce with a chance to investigate a strange new sound. When I arrived in Antarctica, I discovered this. <gasps> the bloop sound. But who or what was making it? That was question. I tracked the sound deep in the ice until finally I discovered that the mysterious bloop is made by... A humongous blooptopus. No, it's... A gigantic bloopzilla. No. A monstrous blooperoceros. No, no. The bloop sound is made by enormous ice quakes. Ice quakes? Yes, yes. It's the sound the ice makes when it breaks and moves. Congratulations, Professor Nerdquick. That's quite a... Shh, listen. Do you hear that? I'm afraid we don't have your Arctic Fox hearing. Ah, yes. Here, listen through speakers. Ah, yes. I hear it now. What? What is it? Sounds like the pitter-patter of lots of little feet. No, no. It's not Peter Patter, it's a Woodle Waddle. A Woodle Waddle? But what Woodle Waddles? My cousins, the Adeli penguins, they Woodle Waddle. They're heading back. And they could be heading straight for the ice chasm. Captain, with the wind blowing all the snow around, my cousins might not see the chasm before it's too late. They could fall in. We need to warn them to stay back. Everyone, to the Gup S. <laughs> Ready to go. They should be bright enough so the Adelie penguins can see them even through the snow. Good work, Tweak. Now, we just have to make sure our timing is right. Dashy? The radar shows that the Adelie penguins are close to the chasm. All right, Peso. Let's send up the flares. On my count. Three, two, one. Ooh, what's that? Did you see those lights? Attention, Adelie penguins. This is your cousin Peso speaking. It's Peso. What's he saying? Shh, please, stay where you are and don't go any further or you'll fall into an ice chasm. Everybody stop. All right. Thanks, Peso. We'll stay where we are. But we still have to get to our nesting grounds. Is there some way that they can go around the ice chasm? The ice chasm is miles long. Going around it would take a long time. Captain, they're already tired from their long trip from the sea onto the land. If they have to travel extra miles around this chasm, I'm not sure all of them will make it. Then we'll just have to find a way to get them over this ice chasm. The bridge might work, but what can we make it out of? There's nothing but snow and ice in this scurvy place, and it takes more than that to build a bridge. I need something to warm me up. Ah, look, it's so cold that my hot chocolate freezes as soon as I pour it. Quasi, you're a genius. I am? Cap, I know just how we're gonna make a bridge. First, we drill a tunnel through the ice. 
and the heated drill will melt the ice into water as we go. Then the water will pour out from our side of the chasm, and as it hits the other side, it'll freeze up. Just like my hot chocolate. Octonauts, let's make an ice bridge. I believe everyone's here. Uh, oh, except... Hold on. Where's Oh. Wow. Uju! Hi, Peso. Look at these amazing icicles. And over here, oh, the ice is waving. You need to hurry and cross the bridge now. Yes. Quick, quick! You never know when another ice crack could hit. Come on, you do. No time for stopping. Speed waddle. All right, I'm coming. Ice crack! <laughs> I hear rustling sound from somewhere in the ice chasm. Yes, yes, that's definitely the sound of penguin flippers. He's alive. Oh, how can we get him out? If only we could fly. Poor Ruju. Don't worry, penguins. We'll save him. Octonauts, one of us will have to go down after him. I'm ready to go, Captain. I'd like to go. Uju may be hurt and need medical help right away. Agreed. Peso. The rest of the team will lower you down to Uju. And we'll pull both of you back up safe and sound. That's a promise, matey. Octonauts, let's set up the rescue rope. All ready here. Ready. 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 On rope, going down. <laughs> I'm down here! Yes! I'm coming for you! More rope, Captain! Did I fall all the way to the bottom? No! You were lucky! You landed on a ledge! Are you hurt? My flippers are fine, but I, I can't move my foot! Hold on! I'm almost there! <sighs> Peso! Ah! <Did> you... <laughs> <laughs> Hold your positions. Peso, are you okay? Well, Captain, I'm at the end of my rope. And so is Uju. You got me! Yes, I've got you. Captain, bring us up. Well done, Peso. Octonauts, slow and steady with the rope. Octonauts, and especially you, Peso. I've never seen flippers that fast. Just doing my job. And now your foot needs a proper bandage. <laughs> it's time to finish our trip back to the nesting grounds. Oh dear. Uju shouldn't waddle on his foot for a few more days. I think we can help with that. Forward waddle! Goodbye. Oh, no. How fast can this thing go? Let's find out, matey. <laughs> Fantastic! Well, Professor Natquick, are you ready to get back to work? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> but I'm afraid this old ice research station is falling apart. Hmm. What do you think, Twig? Well, 
is definitely a fixer-upper. So, let's fix her up. Just give me about eight weeks in two days. <laughs> this is wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Glad you like it. I call it the Gup Eye. The eye is for us. I've put in solar panels and these turbines to harness the wind for power. The whole station is on snow treads now, so you can move it away from any ice chasm that suddenly opens up. <laughs> but that's not all. Go ahead and raise her up, Dashie. These legs can lift the station up high if the snow gets too deep. <laughs> Incredible. If you like the outside, you will love what's inside. Come on. Your very own hot chocolate machine. But that's not the best new feature. It's not. We've set up special pole-to-pole -pole communications. Dashy. This is the Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker here. Tracker, meet Professor Natquick of the Antarctic Ice Research Station, now known as the Gup Eye. Good to meet you, Tracker. Ooh, listen. A mysterious new sound. I hear it too. But who or what is making it? That is question. Oh, I believe it was the sound of a humongous slurptopus. Whoops. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Professor, now that mystery is solved, how would you like a cup of hot chocolate? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, please. Me too. I'm ready for seconds. <laughs> Good work, Tweak. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Delicious. Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for pirates, but not for my cousins, the Adelie penguins. I can't wait for you to meet them. Hi, me hearty. But couldn't we meet them somewhere warmer? Adele penguins don't live anywhere else in the world. Antarctica is their only home. We've come to visit at the perfect time. The chicks have just hatched. And Quasi, Peso and I are going to give their parents a little help. Yeah, what kind of help? Babysitting, of course. Babysitting? Quasi, Peso, to the guppe. Hi, Hi Peso. Peso. Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your seagoing feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry, I know the type. Uh. <laughs> so, what's in the box? Presents for everyone. Oh. <laughs> a rock! A rock. That's right. Adeli penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up, everyone, and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip, and I'm Flap. Oh, but here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the moon and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, I'll miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind my back. Flip, flap, come away from that ledge. Phew. Ah, <sighs> well, 
It looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco, where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. I'm flat. He's flip. Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip. Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like flaps. I mean flips. You're right. Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy. Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie. You don't scare me. <laughs> See? Now he's coming to get me. Shiver. Whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I knew... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> I think Captain <laughs> Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dashi to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards... Me! <laughs> Dashi! Sand the Octolander! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonaut, there's a big storm on the way. <gasps> That's dangerous for the Adeli penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adeli penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup C. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Hang on, penguins. I'm coming to get you. Oh, got you. Two more. Hold tight. Hop on board. shelter to keep the chicks warm. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss a big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <sighs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? If he's not in here, then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! I'm too to move. Yeah. 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 
inside that tent and warm up. All right, Quilty. We'd all be icicles if it weren't for this tent, Peso. I hope Mum and Dad are all right. How will they make it back in this storm? Don't worry. Captain Barnacles will bring them home. And nothing can stop the captain, matey. <gasps> but an iceberg on the beach can really slow him down. <sighs> Not that iceberg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gulf Sea was built to break through ice. Penguins, this could get bumpy. Hold on. Where's Rocco? Where's, Where's Quasi? Quasi? Just one more time, eh, matey? Monkey with the tool belt. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. And got it. <laughs> 